Today I'm going to do a MetaMask tutorial for complete beginners. I'm going to show you how to add a custom token to MetaMask. I'm going to show you how to find a token that you sent to your MetaMask, but you're not seeing it. If you lose tokens, like you know you bought something on an exchange, you know you sent it to your wallet, but you don't know where it's at, you can't seem to find it. There's like this magic website that can tell you exactly what's happened. And we're going to share that website. But before we do, I want to say this. My name is Crypto Wealth. I believe in the future of cryptocurrency. I believe in this technology. And I believe that we have an incredible financial opportunity by being in front of this trend that is going to change the world. If you believe in that, do me a favor and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification icon. And if you love passive income and you want to learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrency, go down in the description and subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter. It's totally free. Now, here's the magic website. If you want to figure out what's going on with your MetaMask wallet, come to this website. It's called debank.com. I'll put the link in the description and you can click log in with your Web3 wallet. Once you do that and it connects, you'll click here. I'm not going to connect it because it literally shows absolutely everything that's going on in your wallet. And But once you log in, you're going to be able to see every token attached to your wallet address because a lot of times when you don't see something in MetaMask, it's not because it's not there. You just haven't revealed it. And I'll show you how to reveal it in a moment. But like, for example, we're going to, I'm going to show you in a minute how we're going to add a token here. But let's just say I had funds in USDC, which is a US dollar stable coin. And there, it's not showing up right here. No matter how much of that coin I purchase, it's not going to ever show up here in, unless I add it. But what if you add it and you don't see a balance and you're thinking, well, what the heck happened? What you can do is come to this website, log in via Web3 wallet, which means just connect to MetaMask. When it connects to MetaMask, this thing is going to show you so much information. And the best part about it is if you have multiple blockchains connected to MetaMask, let's say you have, in this case, Optimism, Phantom Opera, Avalanche, Polygon, or Matic Network, Binance Smart Chain, it will show you everything on one page, every chain. So a lot of times someone will say, how do I know I have a liquidity token? I, I added liquidity on some sort of exchange. How do I know? This website will show you where you have liquidity at. I literally was just testing everything out before I did this video. Listen to this story. You ever stick your hand in your pocket and found like that $5 bill that you forgot about and you're like, oh, I just made some money. That just happened to me, except it was $1,000. I connected my wallet because I want to make sure certain that DeBank's interface was still the same before I talked about it. And I literally found some tokens that I had added as liquidity on an exchange about a month ago. I thought last week I removed that liquidity. True story. I really thought I removed it. But I must have not confirmed the transaction or something because the liquidity was still there and it was $1,000 worth. It was crazy. If you ever like messing with some sort of blockchain and you can't find your tokens, you don't know what's going on, use this website, debank.com, connect your wallet. They will help. There's a lot of great sources for this website, but one is trying to figure out what the heck's going on with your wallet, where your tokens are at. Now, sometimes this happened to a buddy of mine yesterday. I had a buddy of mine. He said, I have Ethereum, but I'm not seeing it. And when he showed me his wallet, he was on the Binance Smart Chain. And the way that happened, by the way, was he went to an exchange, he bought Ethereum, he sent it to his MetaMask wallet. No matter which blockchain you're on, your MetaMask wallet address is going to always be the same. So he sent it to the wallet address, but he didn't realize he was withdrawing Ethereum, which is an ER, uh, which is a naturally an ERC-20 token, and he withdrew it as a BEP-20 token, which is a Binance Smart Chain token over here. Now, used to, it would always say WETH, which would let you know that it was wrapped Ethereum. All that means is it's a tokenized version of Ethereum, but you cannot use Ethereum on the Binance Smart Chain. You can't use it. If you have Ethereum over here, and see, I don't even have it added. If you have Ethereum over here, you can't even use it if you're trying to interact on an Ethereum website with an Ethereum smart contract. I can show you how to resolve that as well. First thing that is important to do, if you know you have a token, you're like, I sent that to my wallet and it's not showing up. In this case, we'll pretend it's USDC. All you have to do is, if you're on Ethereum, go to the Etherscan. If you're on Polygon, go to Polyscan. This is Etherscan. Polygon, go to Polyscan. If you're on the Binance Smart Chain, go to BSC Scan. Whatever blockchain you're on, they probably have some sort of blockchain explorer like this. And you can go to that. See, it's a product of Etherscan. You can go to those blockchains. You can search for the token. I could come over here to, let's just do it on Ethereum. I want to add USDC to my wallet because I think I have a balance there. 
So what I would do is I would come here. I can search here and I can click right here. Now you can search a couple of different ways. You can search by the direct initials if it's a popular token or popular coin. You can also search by the contract address. That will work as well. So right here, token USDC. And this is the, we need, the, we're gonna need this. This is the contract address. We can grab it right here. But I just wanna show you that I can come here and I can also just type in the contract address. That will work as well. And then you just, if you know this is USDC token tracker right here, then you can just grab that address. Once you have the smart contract address for corresponding token, listen to me, just a word of caution. If you're working with a really small token or a new project or some sort of speculative token, that you may not be able to search by the name. You have to make certain that you have the right token address. A lot of tokens, may you may go you know, to try to search sometimes, and you may see multiple of the same tokens. You wanna make certain that you have the right token address. So the best thing to do is to go to the website for whatever project you're investing in or whatever token you own and see if the token address is listed there. If not, go into their official telegram and ask if someone has the token address. Sometimes you can search on the white paper, the token address will be there. You wanna make certain that you have the correct token address. If you buy tokens, even if they have the same name and it's a different token address, you have a different token. So just be cautious of that. You always wanna make certain that you're adding the right token and you're buying the right token. So in this case, we have the contract address for USDC. We grab that. All you gotta do is come here, scroll down and click import tokens. Watch this. This is the contract address and there it is. Now again, if you have a small token, you may not see this really you know, pretty graphic for the token. But in this case, USDC is a pretty large token, obviously. Click next. Oh, I don't have a balance. Click import and there it is. Go back here and there we are, USDC. Now again, it's important to point out that if I would have had $100 worth of USDC, it wouldn't have showed up here. But the moment I added it, I would have seen my $100, my 100 USDC coins. So that's important to be aware of. Now, if you end up in a situation where you're like, I know that I bought USDC, what happened? Use the bank. And if you use the bank and you realize, oh, that's on the Polygon network, then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to send that transaction from Ethereum to the Polygon. And the way you do that is you send it to some sort of exchange. It can be changed now, it can be anything else. In fact, I have a video demonstrating this on my channel where I show how to send Ethereum how to, uh, how to convert Ethereum to Matic. And I, I walk you through how to use change now. But the best way to think about it, if you interact on the Ethereum blockchain, it, you're over here. There, there's no getting out of it without going to a, a third-party exchange or third-party service. You can do everything you want over here. You can buy wrapped Bitcoin. You can buy wrapped Matic. It's not the same thing. It's a tokenized version, which means it's going to have the same price. It's gonna, that's the best way to say it is it basically tracks the price. But it's not the same thing. You cannot interact with the Polygon network as long as you're over here. But if you want to send cryptocurrency from this wallet to this wallet, then you have to go through some sort of exchange. Now, that exchange it might be Binance. It might be Coinbase. It might be Crypto.com. It might be inside of your wallet. By the way, most of your wallets, like if you use a wallet and the wallet allows you to exchange across the, to another blockchain, most of them are using ChangeNow. ChangeNow is a standalone service. You can totally use it yourself. You don't have to depend on your wallet or you can use it even when you're not using that wallet. Their website's easy. It's just a great service, but it's convenient. That's how you find your token. So a couple of things. If you think you've lost your token, best thing to do is start with going to the bank and make certain you have it. If you don't see it, if you're connected to the proper wallet, that's the other thing. Maybe you have multiple wallets. In MetaMask, you can set up multiple wallets. You can click here and there's multiple wallets. So maybe you're not on the right wallet. But as long as you're on the right wallet and you're connected to the bank, if you don't see that token in there, there's no token associated with your address. It does not exist. It's not there. One word of caution. If you notice tokens that you don't recognize, don't interact with them and don't use them. Sometimes that can happen when you pull up the bank because they can be scams and you'll try to go sell them. And when you sell them, basically the smart contract can drain the funds out of your wallet. So just be careful for that. If you go to If you know you're on the right wallet, and you go to the bank and you realize, oh, I thought I bought that Ethereum and I withdrew it to my MetaMask for the Ethereum blockchain, ERC20, but it looks like it's on 
the Binance Smart Chain or whatever, Optimism or whatever blockchain you're using, then you need to go back to your exchange or use a service like Change Now and get it back to Ethereum if you're trying to use the Ethereum blockchain. Hopefully this has been helpful. I just wanted to create a resource for you in the event that you know you run into this or you know someone else who runs into it because I see this question all the time in various Telegram groups or in comments on YouTube or whatnot. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, if this has been helpful, smash that like button. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I will do my very best to help you. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom, ladies and gentlemen. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.